everyone, welcome back to Rema Word with Holy Communion. We're so glad to have you join in today. We appreciate your support. It helps keep the ministry going for you and also for others. Today, we're going to look at called to belong, not just to believe. Now, how many of you are in a group of friends? Or maybe you're in a club or society, you like to do knitting together, sewing, cooking together, or a photography club, or a friend group of some kind. You know that you belong in that friend group. You have that WhatsApp a WhatsApp group where you all can chat together and that's where you know that you find your fit well you know in church it is also a place where you are called to belong not just to believe so we are a part of God's family in Galatians 3 verse 26 so in Christ Jesus you are all children of God true faith so we are children of god we are all children of god which makes us a part of the universal church now what is the universal church the universal church is the body the whole body of christians of believers in christ so you may go to a different country maybe you are in america maybe you are in the uk maybe in australia maybe in singapore and you meet with other believers there is a unity in spirit because it is a universal church you are all children of god in Ephesians 2 verse 19, So now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family. The word members of God's family is okios, which is to have seen perceived to be of one's family. So we know that we have our heavenly father. We also know that we have a church family, a local church that we go to. So not just we belong to the universal church, but we belong to the local church. We can't live life like a hermit or like a silo, a silo Christian where everything is just dependent on our own self, our own way of, of doing things. We have to interact with other fellow believers. What is a hermit? A hermit is someone who lives life completely unconnected to the rest of the world. They are away. Um, from everyone else, they don't really interact with anyone else. And a silo is a word for a building that stores grain. It is self-sufficient. It is already there all by itself. It does not have to depend on any other thing. It is also a word for describing isolated departments in an organization. It exists by itself with no interaction. But God didn't create us to be a hermit or a silo Christian. He created us to be a family who interacts with each other naturally with our interaction with each other. We build good friendships. Naturally, maybe there will be some friction when we are serving or maybe some friction when we are going about our daily life because we are not perfect people. We are not an exclusive club of believers. We are people that come together to worship the Lord. So sometimes we want to just sit by ourselves, maybe just focus on our phones and not talk to anyone because that is where our comfort zone is. And it feels comfortable, but in the long run, it's not going to be healthy. When we come to church, we are meeting people it builds our social skills, our, our uh, relational skills as well, and our empathy and our compassion for other people, thinking beyond ourselves, but to other people. So loving people despite their flaws and weaknesses. We are created for community, fashion for fellowship, and form for a family, and none of us can fulfill God's purposes by ourselves. And that's a quote by Rick Warren. We are formed, we are created for community, fashion for fellowship, and formed for a family. We are not meant to live this life alone. Church is not meant to be an exclusive party. It's a celebration instead of fellow believers where we all congregate together and celebrate who Jesus Christ is, celebrate what Jesus has done on the cross for us. So you are members of God's family. What does it mean to be a member? Is it like you are part of an Aeon membership or you go to Uniqlo and you're in Muji and you have a membership card and therefore you are a member? It is not in that modern sense of the word member where you sign up for a card and you get your 10% discount. A member here that Paul is talking about is a member of the organ, the whole body which consists of different different members of the body, the whole organ here. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 21, the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, and the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. Well, what happens when the feet says to the eye and say, I don't need you, um, I, I can do what you do. But the truth is, no, the organ has a specific use. What happens when you remove an organ from the body for too long? Well, you could probably leave it out of the body for a long time through artificial means or for some way or another but the longer that you keep it out unattended to it's going to shrivel up in the same way that's what happened to us when we are not connected to the local church which is the body of christ itself when we disconnect ourselves and think that 
life is going to be better if I just don't interact with anybody. Yes, maybe for yourself, you feel like you, you are away from other people and that makes you happier. But the truth is that we need to build our social skills. We need to build our relationship skills and we cannot do it alone. And we need to learn as well. We cannot learn being in a silo or in a hermit state or condition. And so there are many ways that we can be connected in order to grow, in order for the organ to be connected to the body to grow. And we do this through our care groups, through kingdom series, through coming and serving in church, where we get to know more and more believers. It's an opportunity for you to get to meet more and more people in church. Eventually what happens when someone comes to church and they don't feel that welcome, when they don't feel that like they belong anywhere, is that eventually they begin to stray away because they feel that they just don't fit into the particular place. And if every church is also not suited to them or they cannot find a particular place that they can call their home, where God calls them to be and if they always drift around, they are going to find that they will drift far away from church and later on lose that relationship with God eventually straying away. This is why it's all the more important for us to be a friend in need to the people around us. Just because it's someone new in church and we feel shy, you know, don't let it hinder us from reaching out to them. Don't let it hinder you from saying hi to them that could really make them feel welcome and make them feel that friendship and make them feel loved and belonging in that place where Jesus has called them to be. So even as we are Christ ambassadors, we are Christ ambassadors welcoming people into the house of God. And let's come to the Lord's table. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Take, drink, this is my blood poured out for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Yes, you are my child. Yes, you are my child. And I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. I see waves after waves after waves of breakthrough just coming your way. Received it right now in Jesus' name. That congestion in the lung be healed right now in Jesus' name. That arm pain be healed right now in Jesus' name. I declare that healing to take place over your body right now. Lay hands on part of your body that needs healing right now and claim that healing in Jesus' name. Just rest in Him. Just rest in Him. You are so busy running around everywhere, so hectic. But God says, come and spend time in His presence and He will refresh you and He will give you the peace that you need and the wisdom that you need to the problem that is at hand. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.